The national flags of Korea and Turkey are embroidered on the Galata Tower, the symbol of the Turkish city of Istanbul, in a flood of beautifully colored lights. This media facade was installed to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Korean Cultural Center in Turkey. Media facades attached to the exterior surfaces of buildings are considered to be the pinnacle of public art in the 21st century. A 3D video showing the history between the two countries lit up Istanbul's night. From the interactions in the ancient times to the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1957, the 2002 FIFA World Cup, and K-pop stars and Korean sports players loved by Turkish people, the history between the two countries was displayed through a panorama of lights at major Turkish attractions, including the Galata Tower, the Anka Mall in Ankara, and the Izmir Clock Tower in Izmir. These media facades caught the eyes of the local media as well as Turkish citizens. There's another link between Korea and Turkey. The two countries are members of MiCTA, along with Australia, Mexico, and Indonesia. The first MiCTA film festival hosted by the Korean Embassy in Turkey was held for five days starting from November 24th, screening a film from each MiCTA country in turn. We hope that the MiCTA Film Festival will deepen the friendship and understanding among members of MiCTA, which will be celebrating its 10th anniversary next year. Childhood innocence is universal. The Korean Embassy in Portugal held an online contest for Portuguese children to introduce them to the world of traditional Korean fairy tales. The contestants narrated or drew a traditional Korean fairy tale translated into Portuguese. So how did Portuguese children portray traditional Korean fairy tales? Let's have a look at Zhao Muriano's work, who won the first place in narration for those between the ages of 11 and 16. Este machado é o teu? Perguntou. É sim. Sim, senhor. Esse machado velho e enferrujado é o meu. Zhao chose the tale of Gold Axe, Silver Axe, Iron Axe for his narration. How did he convey the honesty of the woodcutter that moved the mountain spirit's heart? Zhao said that he felt much closer to Korea as he prepared for his narration. Santiago Estevez, who won the 6 to 10 year olds category with the same fairy tale, is telling the story using props he made, and his seriousness adds to his charm. The story of the honest woodcutter captivated many children in the contest. But there were also other traditional Korean fairy tales, such as the Dangun mythology, the brother and sister who became the sun and the moon, Shimchangjun, and the green frog that were vividly illustrated through the hands and mouths of the Portuguese children. Special Mission Design a Trip to Korea the Korean embassy in Honduras asked the Honduran people to design a trip to Korea and guide it by holding the Korea Travel Contest for three months starting in June. Honduran people planned routes to three famous travel destinations in Korea, and Honduran students in Korea traveled along the routes. Shall we join them? The first route explores Daegu under the theme of pre-modern culture travel. Angel Sabion's team visited tourist spots where pre-modern culture is well-preserved and tried specialties of Daegu, such as grilled beef entrails and spicy braised short ribs. The second route covers Yosu and Suncheon in South Jola province. From the quiet ambience of traditional Korean Hanok to the colorful ocean fountain of Big O Show at Yosu Expo, Daniela Fajardo's team enjoyed a rich cultural trip spanning two cities and got a glimpse into the Korean history and culture. The Honduran youth's trip to Korea was featured on the local TV on the 11th and showed Honduran people how exciting and joyful it is to travel to these three Korean cities. We hope these travel routes become a silk road connecting Korea and Honduras and help to increase interactions between the two countries.